So Pires or Ronaldo? <laughs> <laughs> Last night there's Yoke in here, I tell you. Hey, what are you laughing about? Right? Yeah, I don't know if it's happening. There's only one answer. But you, no, no, seriously, I don't like that. <laughs> You're disrespecting <laughs> Robert Perez. <laughs> Again, one of the best players ever to play in the Premier League. <laughs> We see meet us. again. Yeah, I meet again, my friends. <laughs> see you, chaps. Cheers. How Lovely doing, to right? see you. Lovely How to you see doing, you mate? both. How are you feeling about this? Yeah, it's an interesting debate. But you know how it goes. If you two can't agree, I get the decisive word. So my word here is completely final. So you're the VAR guy. I am, exactly. <laughs> I want to start up here. We're going 4 4 2 because you won the Champions League playing 4 4 2 and you played 4 4 2 that whole season. So we're going to do it in a 4 4 2, so no issues there. But these two centre forwards, the debate will be, is it Thierry Henry and Dennis Bergkamp or Wayne Rooney and Carlos Tevez? Interesting. This is hard to separate, isn't it? I'm finding <laughs> it very difficult. Um, is it? It is. Isn't it? Is it difficult? Okay, here we go. And we're off. Robbie, tell me. Thierry Henry is definitely in there. Best striker ever to play in the Premier League. Yeah, I don't necessarily agree on that. Yeah. Yeah, and Dennis Bergkamp is in there because, you know what, I find it hard to even separate them two as two of the best players ever to play in the Premier League. I'm going to say this, like, Wayne Rooney, he was in his prime, he was fresh, we just bought him in 2005, he was coming on, and we won the league the previous season, and he just blossomed, and he was in his prime, he was peaking. And I'm going to go for Wayne Rooney, because the guy, he, he, he scored goals. Carlos Tevez, workhorse, he'll work, he'll do something for you, but he's... It's the connection with... Listen, he was bitter at sea. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's the way you left. It's, no, the, way, listen, it's the way you left. I'm sorry. I'm going with Wayne Rooney. Are you falling on your sword when it comes to Carlos Tevez? Tevez you're is not out. Putting, you're not out. Yeah, Tevez. I'm not putting Tevez in. Okay, so it's Tevez is the, way, out. the way you left. So if you have to have one of these in, if you have to pick one of, the, of your two... All right, I'm going to do like a poker move now. Yeah, I like I'll it. Put Burkham Burkham in. In. <laughs> <laughs> You know, man, it's so stupid. Do you know what? I think, do you know what? I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to use my powers, my omnipotent powers here. I think that we have to agree that Thierry Henry is that one, and the debate is Rooney or Burkamp. Burkamp. Rooney. Burkamp. You know, and you've got to think about combinations. Yeah, think about combinations as well. I, I don't know, Thierry Henry and Rooney? I'm not sure that Rooney would really... Rooney complimented everyone. Everyone he played with, Van Nistelrooy, it, it didn't matter who Rooney picked Van Nistelrooy ain't Thierry no, but, Henry, is he? But so Rooney, you tell me Rooney, Rooney won't learn off Thierry Henry? Learn off. So that's why you know he was still Henry's young, definitely he was, in there. Learn, he was still young. Learn, he still learn off of, and he'd learn off of Burkamp as well. But you, he would learn a lot off of Burkamp. I know, but he's got to learn off only one now, hasn't he? No, but who says there's got to be only one? Manchester United's top ever goal scorer. England's top ever goal scorer. Is that right to leave out? Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's, what's that got to do with me, Man United's top goal scorer? You know what I mean? I'm talking about Burke, Burkamp. He's got a statue at the Emirates Stadium. So has Thierry Henry. Mm. You haven't even got a statue for Rooney yet. I don't need one. <laughs> <laughs> That's combination. Because you want a combination as well, don't you? You want a combination, and that was the perfect combination for me. Maybe the combination is what's going to be the decisive factor. Well played. Because I was actually leaning towards Rooney because I can't believe that we're going to leave Wayne Rooney out of any, like whatever team I'm You've seen doing. what Wayne Rooney can do. I know. 16 years so old, Arsenal's unbeaten record. Wham. Goodison Park, 89th minute. Took, took the ball, blasted it. Straight past saving, left hand top corner. Yeah, no, no, there's no so, doubt that Wayne Rooney is. Great goal. Is, Wayne Rooney is un, so, unrivaled Rooney, Rooney almost. Can, you in know terms Rooney of his brilliance. At, at combinations, though, combinations. We're talking about the invincible season. Imagine now. You're a defender coming up against them too. Now, the only the only thing is, I, th I feel like Wayne Rooney and Thierry Henry would almost be perfection, like no, absolute no. perfection. Henry and Burkham are already perfection. Why change it? And our front pairing is certified. It is Thierry Henry and Dennis Burkham. Robbie, would you like to do the honours? I have two Arsenal counters for you. Take those if you want. <laughs> Put those two on the subs bench, you know what I mean? <laughs> there you go, Thierry, Dennis, slightly behind. No, At least there's not felt smart. tips and all. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? At least we're not, we're not drawing positions and that. Right, lads, so up next, I want to go to another fairly controversial, debatable position. And I'm going to go for this position here, the left wing. 
It's between Robert Pires, who was a glorious footballer, or Cristiano Ronaldo. So Pires or Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> Laugh like the Joker here, I tell you. Hey, what were you laughing about? Yeah, I don't know if it's only it's one, it's it's one answer. But you, no, no, seriously, I don't like that. You're disrespecting <laughs> Robert Perez. Again, one of the best players ever to play in the Premier League. <laughs> oh, you're dissing, you're, you're dissing Cristiano Ronaldo, Ballon d'Or winner, three times Premier League title winner, five time Champions League winner, European Championship winner. Oh man, but he Please wasn't that there. He wasn't that. Yeah, like, at, that, at that time mm. he was just a little young whippersnapper coming through, bumpy yeah. faced, you know what I mean? <laughs> Them times Perez was killing it. In that invincible team, Perez was unreal. Unreal. Mm. Seriously, Ronaldo was unreal in that season as well. You're talking. What, what You're talking. 40, 40, Real Madrid, Ronaldo. 40 league goals, up to 44. <clears throat> Nearly 24, 25 league goals, 16 goals in all renewable competitions, nearly 14 Champions League goals as well. But the old on. In, in 07 08, and he took us. We're on about that season. We're Champions on about the season. We're on about the season of the, the, that Champions League win. Yeah, well, he, he contributed that season. Perez was unbelievable in that team. He was a wonderful so player. So was Cristiano Ronaldo. Wonderful in player. 07 08. Do you know what, Andy? I've got to intervene here. You know, you said he scored in the final. Which he did. Yeah, and he missed the penalty. Hey, I there know. We go. There we go. You know <laughs> so what's coming. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, whatever. But he, he scored and he won. He won it. He was a winner in the end. Yeah, he was all right. He was well, all right. All right. <laughs> what do you reckon, Rob? If it was a debate between Robert Perez and anyone else, almost anyone, I think the answer is Perez. But it's Cristiano Ronaldo, and therefore I'm leaning towards. Thank you. Agreeing with Andy. Here. <laughs> we'll give him one. Congratulations. This counter is yours. Thank you. Uh, it was never in doubt anyway. No, you know what? <laughs> Don't stop this never in doubt thing. For me, it's, <laughs> it's just. just and, and a lot of that is influenced by what he went on to do. Centre half partnerships. Rio and Vidic, Sol Campbell, Colo Torre. Rio and Vidic, it was one of a kind. Like a Bruce Pallister. It, 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 was, it was tough, strong, and they could give it out and take it as well. Ferdinand and Vidic. Mm -hmm. Two great players. Um, I do think it's going to come down. You know, I'm being fair here. I would say one of each. And to me, T Colo Torre was a revelation that season. But it's got to be Sol Campbell's got to be in there. It wasn't just his defensive abilities, right? It was also that his leadership. He was a leader in that team, right? So that's what, to me, gives him an edge that gets him in there as well. And he had all the toughness and athleticism, and he was just an unbelievable mm. defender. Plus, we got him from Tottenham, which made it even more... <laughs> Look, imagine the, mental, imagine the mental toughness of this guy to leave Tottenham, their captain, and then to come and play for us. Why is that Christmas for you when that right? transfer it, went it, it was, it wasn't just Christmas, it was Christmas, it was... <laughs> It's still you know, Diwali, about it, double, double, it was double. Honigai, everything. Yeah. It was brilliant, <laughs> right? And trust me. So, listen, I love the guy for what he did. But to me, I think he has to be in there. Everything Robbie said there is totally right about Sol Campbell. Sol Campbell does have to be in. He was immense. Sol Campbell is in. But then I also think that there is an obvious second candidate here. Like, Rio Ferdinand is arguably the best defender that the league's ever seen. But who was better, Rio or Vidic, if you had to say? I know it's difficult because they played together, but if, if it's one or the other, who are you leaning towards? I would go Vidic because he oh, was... Oh, really? Yeah, no, but he was all toughness. It's the toughness in it. Rio was like, on the game, he knew he knew it. He knew, he knew how to manage a defence. He knew when a, a ball, you know, when it was coming in, but when you needed toughness, even goals in the last mm. minute. He, he, I've seen him score a couple of goals for us when we needed it. So I think that the partnerships... They both deserve a representative, but no partnership was good enough to have both. So I'm going to say that you can both have a counter, and it's your decision. That's for you, Rob. That's for you, Andy. It's well, up for to me. You now. It's quite straightforward. It's Sol Campbell. <sighs> I'm going to go with Rio. I'm going to go with Rio, but an honourable mention for the man Davidic because he was a tough SLB. I'm telling you. At left back, we have two candidates really. It's Ashley Cole or Patrice Evra. But if you don't mind, Andy, just because I find it really entertaining, we're going to start with Robbie and we're going to ask Robbie to talk about his left back. Robbie, <laughs> this will be fun. <laughs> Pre-Chelsea, right? <laughs> um, he was, like, listen, we discovered this kid. It's a bit like Saka now. Mm. Came through, 
discovered him and he was a revelation. <clears throat> and to me, at that time, and even when he went on to Chelsea, to be fair to him, it's the best left back in the league. Yeah, I, com I completely agree. I don't even think it's fair to compare Ashley Cole to Patrice Evra. If you're talking about Ashley Cole in comparisons, you basically need to talk about only Paolo, Paolo Maldini, maybe Roberto Carlos. Like, he is the best of all time, and he's in that debate for me. And I do love him. So he's in. And I got oh, a, yeah. And I, and you I two hold, got an I hold you, the counters. You, I hold the counters. You've got a connection. Mate, so. No, no, listen, I don't love <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't no, love him. Oh, because the way he went on here to leave us the way he did. Is, it ever, is there a world in which I'm missing the point here and it's ever? It's a bargain. Seven million quid from Monaco. It's and he'd just been to the Champions League final. You the go to the year. pound shop round the corner and you oh, get a bargain. Or you can go to Louis Vuitton. Yes. Yeah, but I can guarantee you. Seven yeah, million quid. I can guarantee you, my Louis Vuitton will turn more heads. He's in. Ashley Cole's one of the, uh, Robbie, we're doing it. No, Ashley, no, Ashley no, Cole's no. one of the best in the world. I'm he, going like, he's not in a debate. Hey, whoa, whoa, he's whoa. not in a debate for an what era. He's in the debate for the best in the world. About ever. League. He came into it. His first he's game. in the counter. He's his counting. first game into it. His first game, like a man the village. They were bought in January and thrown straight into a Manchester derby. And it was awful, but from there, they went on to win. Carling Cup, Premier League title, European Cup, three league titles, League Cup, FA Cup. They won the, he won the, the lot in four and a half years. No, he, done really, he had a great career. Patrice Evra isn't even the best Manchester United Premier League era left back. He's, we're talking about Ashley Cole, who's the best man. ever. This, this, <laughs> let's just see. This, this, this is, is, this is a fix, Come on. this. That's <laughs> not a fix. It's <laughs> not a fix. It's Ashley Cole. Ashley Cole. Come on. He's not having it. Ashley Cole over Are you being serious? Nah, I'm going well. I, I've met the guy as well. <laughs> <laughs> I love this game! Okay. So over to the right back. Ooh. And now it's now it's a bit trickier because Neville slash Wes Brown. You, what are you going to go for? I'm going to go Gary Neville. A limited player, wasn't he? Limited player? Gary Neville worked so hard from the 90, class of 92 all the way through, like I said, 18 years of dedication. Yeah, no, I'll give him that. And he won everything. Yeah, but we've got to judge it on, we've got well, to judge got it on to, this yeah. team. Yeah, I mean, you're, see, what's, he, play, what's, he played consistent that, that, that Everything's a history lesson. I don't want to know about the history. Yeah. You're what, going he... on about the Invincible season all the time. No, but I'm, just, just, just the no but I'm talking about that year. You, you're there going, you, you go and mention all these other seasons. And stuff. What did he do that, mm. you know? Oh, he was consistent through the entire season. Yeah, that's so why they didn't play the first game. Let's hear your case for Lauren. The most underrated right back probably of all time really he was so underrated he was absolutely solid trust me he was tough if he was out of the team i'm like oh no lauren's not playing i rated that guy so highly I mean, he's never really had his flowers in my, what about in my his contribution to that season would it have been the same his season contribution was it's brilliant again the, the team with the whole season without losing a but game how integral to that he was integral he? to that he was integral to that defense look at what we did that season That's our whole it. season without losing a game yeah the defense, and to do yeah. that your defense has to be unreal i agree because our defense was unreal no, but you we lost, went, what did you go unbeaten oh for the whole season. So what? We won a European Cup and, and our defence was uh, roughly and, and solid and for the season. And a Premier League. And a Premier League in the same mm. season. The fact that you had two that year, the fact that it was Brown or Neville, makes me think that it just has to go Lauren. Mm. I think it does, Robbie. Congratulations. <laughs> That's another one in there. Come it's on, looking man. very heavily Arsenal at the moment. You're going to have to up your game a bit. This is not South Divide, this. <laughs> this what it is. So you need to level up, mate. I feel like there may be trouble ahead, but we're going to go for the central midfield now. I'm going to put Skulls and uh, Carrick. Okay, and Rob? Gilberto Vieira. Well, you said it. Gilberto Vieira, okay. Are you are you assuming that it's that the partnership is Gilberto Silva? Stop, and I, I am assuming. Okay. Well, I'm assuming. I'm assuming, assuming. I'm assuming that that's done already. Oh, this is the North South divide again. It's not the North South <laughs> divide. Of course it is. It's not the North South divide. Maybe you need to just face up to the facts, right? That that team was better. The invincible <laughs> team was better than that United team. And I'm sure even you Ed, would admit because you guys still sing songs about him at Man United, <laughs> right? That Vieira is definitely in there. Is one of the best midfielders of all time yeah. in the Premier League. Right? I agree on that. Yeah, even though Keys have made it. The Scholes as well with Michael Carrick. They were instrumental in that in that season. Paul Scholes could pick a pass. So could Michael Carrick. Look up, see where the runners are, point them out, and play a play it, play a ball in. 
just like if you don't have a good midfield, you don't get you don't get the goals supplying the front. Is there anyone that has to be in it for you? If if, if there's a hill that you're going to die on here, who is that one player that has to be in it? Pulse goals. He's an absolute. And you've suggested that Patrick Vieira War is horse. a similar thing for you. War horse. Okay, so just in the spirit of détente, is there a world in which <laughs> you say Skulls and you accept that, and you say Vieira and you accept that, which means no Gilberto Silva and no Michael Carrick? Yeah, I can go along with that. A midfield of Vieira and Skulls is a pretty good midfield. Yeah, I, well, that was in very, the spirit of détente. That was very grown up there. I think that's probably fair. I think that's probably the correct way of doing it, which then leads us on to right winger. This is a tricky one for you, isn't it, Andy? Uh, yeah, because you had two crackers that season. You had uh, Nani and you had Jisun Park. Absolute workhorse. He, he, would, he would go through brick walls. For you, Rob, obviously this is We, we love, love you, Freddie. Fred, yeah, because, because he's got Fred, ready. Hey, we love you, Fred. Fred. Come on. Yeah. Freddie Jungberg. I think they're the same type of player. What? Same type of player. No, 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 no. Lundberg, Freddy big game Lundberg. Big game player, Lundberg. Big goals, game, big goals. game player. Jason Park scoring vital goals at vital times in the set in that season. Is Jason Park a better player than Freddie Lundberg? No. But. <laughs> no, no, no. Put it down. Put it down, you eager beaver. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's so cool. you, you really These know. Arsenal fans get temperamental. Oh, we're going to win the Champions League. Oh, my God. You really know he's in there. You when really you're up, you're, up you're down, you're down. But no, no, Jason Park, technically no. But commitment, effort, work, work rate, desire, pushing forward. And when he got dropped, he never moaned. He always come off the bench and did a job. You're <laughs> comparing Jason Park. Who, don't get me wrong, he was a very good player. But I'm sorry, he does not compare to Freddie Jungberg in his pomp. How good was Freddie Lundberg then? It's Bobby? unbelievable. Tell me, it's what, it sounds like some people are missing the brilliance of Lundberg. Again, I think people acknowledge again, what he can do. But... The ultimate box to box midfielder, work rate but with skill, scored goals, and I think you said it earlier big game player. When you in your big moments and you want someone to, to turn up, it was him. Andy, I've got some bad news for you. Oh, this is crud, this. <laughs> this is absolute mate, garbage. You, mate, you need to make... You, what, are you, what are you doing wrong here? You've got a team that won three leagues in a row in a European Cup and you're getting walloped he by ain't Arsenal. doing nothing wrong. It's just that that team, invincible team, is a one-off. You ain't doing nothing when wrong. When this is done, you're going to be sneaking behind me back as I leave the building. <laughs> We've got so any more. brown envelopes are going to change hands. <laughs> Envelope. I'll check the CCTV We've on this place. We've got one more counter that is currently, currently neutral. You can still have some pride. We're going to go goalkeepers. Is Ooh. Jens Lehmann or Van der Sar? Ben Foster. <laughs> right. <laughs> Andy, I'm willing you on here. You can do this. Who is it? Van der Sar. You're talking Ajax School of Excellence, Progression, Dutch national team. Snip. <laughs> yeah, you got him cheap. Oh, cheap. Right, Lehman, again, integral to that season. Season unbeaten, a revelation in that season. Loved him as well. Mm. All the <laughs> hours he, he did that year. and I love Lehman. The only thing with him sometimes is he loses his head a bit. Mm. In he, big moments he, as well. He, you know what I mean? He used to lose his head. I always... The Champions League final still irks me. <laughs> I mean, because, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he cost you. He did. He That's, cost him. Yeah, he because cost it, you. to me, I, I, I just thought he could have done better. Remember what Edwin we did? Tell me why it's Van der Sar. But what are you trying to give it to him? Edwin, Edwin, Edwin Van der Sar. Edwin Van der Sar set a record for the most clean sheets in a season. I, I don't know if it's a Premiership record, but it's a Manchester United record. He, the amount of minutes we didn't concede a goal. It was like something like 12 up to 14 games. Overall, Van der Sar was a better keeper. He was a quality keeper. I used to rate him. I actually remember when you signed him, I, was, I remember thinking that would have been a shout for us. But if we're looking at that season to your season... It's two records in itself, yes. them, them same seasons, mate. Andy. Congratulations. You've done well here. The, you pulled it out of the bag with the stat. The fact that he had that... that I want to check that stat as and, well, you know what I mean? And do you know what? 
he did save the penalty to win the European Cup. They, when he saved from Nicholas Anelka. Hit it straight out, huh? What a slip, <laughs> what a slip man, Jim. Congratulations. Hit it straight out. Um, yes. I'm surprised that this is quite the landslide. 7-4 to Robbie. I'm going conspiracy theory. Uh, <laughs> it's oh, a north-south divide. <laughs> yeah, north-south divide, mate. Slap, this is, this is JFK, this. <laughs> so you're, you're not happy with this? It's, this is envelope, brown envelopes, little little surprises brown after envelopes. that I've left the room. <laughs> brown envelopes. It's, it's fantastic. Do you know what? Do you know what I'm really looking forward to seeing? The comments of this video, because people will be letting us know where we got it wrong. Hey, you know what? I've got one last thing. Go on. I think the manager should be Wenger as well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm can not jog into on, that. Charlie. I'm not getting into that. Let's cheers. I love it. Cheers. That. You nice can nice jog one. on with that. Yeah. <laughs>this is Chelsea against an all-stars of the world. N'Golo Kante makes it. As a player, I think Fabinho is actually probably just there, just Kante. As a DM... Brother, stop. Yeah. About <laughs> you're, you're smiling at me. You couldn't even say that with a straight face. No, yeah. no, <laughs> no, I think on the ball yeah. he's better than Kante. 